Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to draw a monarch butterfly in coloured pencils. I start off by working on the blurry background. I start with using a light green and a darker green and just doing really light layers to build up the different shades and um, shadows in the background. Um, also putting a little bit of a brown into the shadows to sort of add a bit more depth and colour. I'm not keeping the edges of the colours very defined, I'm letting them overlap a lot. This helps to add to the blurry effect of the background. At this point I start adding purples into the flowers in the background. Um, I use both a purple and a blue because the flowers have quite a bluey purple look and you can't get that from just one shade on its own. I continue working around the butterfly, making sure that the background is all complete in the bottom corners. I've also started using a yellow in the lighter green areas to try and give a bit more depth to the light areas because the, in the reference photo they actually have a yellow tinge to them which the plain green colours just don't have on their own and adding the yellow makes it a lot richer. I use a dark green to deepen the shadows even further so that I'm ready to start blending it out with zester. And when I do this I use a paintbrush dipped in the zester and I, rub, I get a paper towel and get the excess of, off the brush on the paper towel before using it on the picture. Once it is blended it's ready to do further um, layers to deepen the shadows. Um, I use a black now to get some of those shadows a lot darker. With these layers I am still using a light pressure. Um, I, you don't want to press too hard because it'll damage the, the tooth of the paper and you won't be able to do additional layers so keep a light hand when you're doing the colouring. I go over the background with grass green and this is a good medium colour green which um, brightens a lot of the duller areas which should be more vibrant. I then start going over the flowers again to make them a little bit more vibrant as well before blending it out once again. I use a white luminance pencil to start bringing out the highlights. Um, it's good for getting those sort of paler patches in the background and also the highlights on the leaves and I also go through over the flowers once again bringing out some highlights in them and then also making them a bit more vibrant with pink. At this point I see that the shadows need further deepening um, so I add more layers on top of the shadows um, using a d very dark purple and black to help bring those shadows further out. Next I start working on the leaves, adding some more detail into the leaves and putting the little shadows in. And then I take the, the grass green pencil and I go over the whole background with a fairly heavy pressure. It's not burnishing but it's a lot harder than what I use usually. It's make, it makes it a very vibrant colour and adds a lot of colour into the background which is what it needed. At this point I'm ready to start on the flower and I start off by using a medium blue and using light pressure and I do a layer of that over the flower and then I go over with purple and add some warmer tints in with the pink and then I blend it all out. I use the white luminance pencil to bring out highlights in the flower. I really do recommend the white luminance pencil it's very opaque and it is brilliant for pulling out highlights in things like flowers and leaves and well pretty much every single picture I, I do I use the white luminance pencil it is very very useful. Now that I've finally finished the background I can start working on the butterfly itself. I start with a black pencil and I go over all the black areas on the butterfly I find that if I don't do this I get a little bit confused as to where all the spots are 
you have to make sure that you leave the white spots white and you go around them all. It gets a bit time consuming and tedious, but you have to keep them white otherwise you won't get them white again. When doing the black lines, I'm not using a very high pressure, it's still a light to medium pressure. I'm just getting the black down so that I can blend it out later and so that I know where all the spots are that need to be coloured in. I go over the wing in a dark cadmium orange and I go over all the spots which are coloured. I also check the little tiny spots because a couple of them have a slight tinge of orange to them so I colour those ones at this point. I then go over with a few more orangey reds where the shadows of the back wing have actually come through and you can see the lines. Um, I use the orangey reds to bring out those lines. When I start blending the black lines, um, yeah, I have to be really, really careful to keep the brush just where the lines are. If you let the brush go over the orangey spots, it'll actually make it a bit muddy and, sh and the grey from the black will come through into the orange spots and you don't want that. So you have to be really careful with the blending of the black lines. I also use a white luminance pencil to go through with all the little white dots and I use a very hard pressure with that to protect those little white dots so that um, they won't get covered in any of the colour. At this point I've actually started um, using the black pencil back over the black lines again. I'm using a very heavy pressure for this um, and I'm also keeping the pencil really really sharp. I don't want to have to blend this out again so I'm making sure that this black layer is how I want it. I add some yellow and some more layers of the orange and the reds to the wings to just make that colour just that little bit better and I also use a white luminance pencil to add highlights along the edges of the wing to just sort of further define the edges of the wing. With the butterfly finished I see that the background needs a little bit more darkening as the butterfly just doesn't look quite right with the background. So I go through and add a more blacks and dark greens just to darken it up a bit. I also add more shadows on the leaves around the butterfly and go through with a dark blue to further define the flower. And that brings us to the end of the tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. I do have a step-by-step -step guide for this tutorial uh, discussing every step in a lot of detail with pictures and materials used available on my website. The link will be below. Thank you and I hope you've enjoyed it.